Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the General Horoscope Weekly Reading. So, everyone, I gotta just, I have to apologize that I overlooked the Mercury retrograde. I usually, uh, I look at a calendar and I decided to look at a different astro astrological calendar and it didn't have Mercury retrograde. And then I noticed that when I was doing my my card reading, it always was coming up that 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 the um that the communication wasn't good and I looked it up, I was like, this sounds like Mercury retrograde is happening in November already and sure enough, Mercury is retrograding in Sagittarius on the sixteenth, the same day that Venus goes retrograde. I mean the Venus you know, twice direct. So hallelujah for that. The, Venus flies direct. The only thing is, when Venus flies direct, there's always that bump. You're just gonna feel it, you know. And the but then, as time goes by, you it's going to be very harmonious with relationships. But there is going to be that slight bump. So it's like seatbelts on, you lovers. <laughs> the lovers seatbelt on. Turbulence is going to come. <laughs> Time for that turbulence and love with that Venus going direct on the 16th of November. And then um, also on the 15th of November, Mars enters Pisces next to the wounded healer. And on the 24th, Neptune goes direct. And you're definitely going to feel that as well. Now, Mars is definitely wanting... He's a go-getter kind of a planet, but he is in the he is in the last constellation in Pisces that has to do with spirituality. That has to do with very um, it's very secretive, and it is a very sexual house. Okay, spiritual and sexual houses. Okay, so the only thing is is the wounded healer is sitting there. And Neptune going retrograde, and Neptune going direct. So um, definitely have to be careful. I did share in the normal horoscope readings that um, people are going to want to pull the wool over your eyes, and I and you're already feeling that in the shadow period, like already three weeks before or so and I've already been experiencing it in my life like big time but because I'm an astrologer and I know I'm like checking out whether you know um people are are um poking my eyes out because I'm right at the, at the moment trying to buy a car went to a mechanic you know who is who is trying to who is trying to you know, rip me off in regards to how much my car is worth or, or the everything that has to do with car. And it's really not a good time to buy a car because Mercury is going retrograde on the 16th of November. But it, I'm in a point, and as a Gemini, oh my gosh, as a Gemini, it's really... <laughs> but I have this car on warranty. I told them if, if this is a Monday car, if this is like some kind of a car where something's not wrong with it, uh, something's not right with it, then I need, you know, some kind of a warranty that I can bring it back. And he said, yes, yes, it has a warranty. So it's like, make sure that if you buy anything that there's a warranty on it. If you have to take it back, okay, that there may be people, especially Gemini people or Sagittarius people, who may be wanting to get into some kind of a, of a contract, you know, leasing or because I'm leasing my car and something that has to do with leasing or buying or read the fine print. <laughs> You know, read the fine print and and make sure that that um, that this is that it that there is a warranty on it. Okay, so just make sure on that. <clears throat> 
And so, Aries people, let's go through the houses. Aries people, um, Sagittarius is going retrograde in your ninth house. Um, um, Mercury. <laughs> Mercury is going retrograde in Sagittarius in your ninth house. So, um, you may be feeling like some uh, contracts, you know, um, if you make any kind of contracts in regards to traveling or in regards to students, if you have any kind of um, students or if you are a student, any kind of student contracts, anything like that, you may be entering into, but it could be like the contract later on could be broken, okay? It's like... Um, they're going to want to step out of it, for, or you're going to want to step out of it for one reason or another. So any contracts that start in already November, because it's in shadow, um, they may be. And that that definitely, I know an Aries person <laughs> who happens to be my, my Kung Fu teacher, and I'm entering into a contract coming back, because I had a little pause coming back. But then the Shaolin Temple is going to close in January. So, yeah, obviously, the contract is going to end up being broken. So, so this is definitely for Aries people, you know. So that's just an example with my life and um, how this applies. Okay, so um, on the 16th, Aries, on the 16th, Venus goes direct in your 7th house. So anything that has to do with contracts, love, um, people returning into your life, you know, um, business, uh, people that you have business contracts with or, um, or relationships. There could be some kind of a bump, okay, when you see someone, someone returning, someone could be returning. Maybe it's not a bump when you see them again, like best friends, want to run friends. You may see them again, um, but it, it, there's not having to be a bump if you haven't seen the friend in a long time, you know, but you could be seeing a person again that you haven't seen in a while, and that applies to me again because on Saturday I see a friend I haven't seen in a long time, and I'm so excited about seeing her. It's been like a year since I've seen her, and then on the, and she's at Aries, she's Aries. On the 15th, I already said, Mars goes into Pisces in your 12th house. And, um, yeah, be careful in regards to anyone wanting to pull the wool over your eyes, okay? So, then Taurus people, Mercury is going retrograde in your 8th house. It has to do with other people's money. Um, there could be, um, like, contracts. You know, like, not a good time to get married. Not a good time to get married, okay? If you get married around this time, there's definitely going to be a divorce or people, you know, it's just not a good time to get married. Not a good time to enter some kind of a long-lasting relationship, okay? Um, if you are married, there some communication. You're going to have difficulty with communications or with your in-laws during this time until Mercury goes forward again. On the 16th, Venus goes direct in your 6th house. There may be a slight bump with, you know, harmony is really not there on the 16th with your colleagues at work or um, women that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, be careful on splurging, you know, maybe a day where you just have to go to a restaurant and you're like, who let the dogs out? And like, oof, 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 oof. Yeah, Venus going direct in your sixth house. <laughs> you're going to be like wanting a party, you know, it, it could be that you get invited to a party where there's just like lots of food and you're just wanting to splurge. Okay. And Mars going, um, Mars going into your 12th house with Chiron there. And so you're going to be like surrounded by friends, really excited, really excited. Um, be careful, you know, like, um, 
It could be like peer pressure, peer pressure of like doing drugs. So be careful on that. You know, drinking and doing, you may be feeling this. Just also be careful with friends wanting to do you in with money, okay? That if you're going to lend any money, just think of it as giving it to them. You may not see it again. Gemini's. Gemini's. This is happening in your seventh house of love. Mercury going retrograde in your seventh house of love. Either you're um, talking to someone about past things, okay, and, um, you're, you could be seeing someone that you haven't seen in a long time, okay, like, and this year we're already feeling, because Venus is going retrograde in your fifth house, it has to do with dating and love, okay, dating, romance, seventh house is deeper, seventh house does have to do with love, and if you were already talking with someone from your past that someone that you dated or so and now mercury going retrograde it could be then um because this venus going going um um retrograde in your fifth house there could have it could have made like some delays wondering you know are they gonna hurt me are they not gonna hurt me should i go in and and that feeling um this I'm really curious how this is going to fare. <laughs> you shall see. I'll do a I'll do my own vlog, <laughs> let you know without sharing names. Okay, now the the sixteenth when Mercury goes retrograde in your seventh house, maybe you're meeting them finally, and or or um you're talking about you know past things, past things between you two. Okay, it could also bring um, past um, people that you did that you had contracts with, past employers or past past employees, um, <clears throat> friends that you haven't seen in a while. Like I said, I get to see my friend. I haven't seen her in a while. It applies to me too, Jim and I. <laughs> I get to see my Aries friend, um, and. Yeah, Venus going direct. There could be a slight bump. Gemini's, there may be like a slight bump where you, with the person that you, you're you romantically in contact with right now. But as the month goes on, love is happening in your life. Love is definitely happening in your life. So allow that slight bump to happen. If they mean a lot to you, just hold on. Don't let it go. Just say, okay, I know it's going to come. And uh, uh, one thing that could happen is like, because there was a love triangle going on, is the person is now at the crossroads, whether they should go back to their past love or whether you are their true, you know, soulmate and they decide to, to really make it happen so a person could be at the crossroads do they go back to the lover because you when you came back into the picture you know, they created a love triangle and maybe the person chose you and now they're at a crossroads do I really want to enter into this relationship with this person or do I go back to my ex okay so for some people, this doesn't, for some people, you know, it's 50-50. You don't know, and we'll see what happens, you know. <sighs> Cancerians. This is Mercury going retrograde. Mercury is going retrograde. And, oh, and Gemini's. Mars is going retro. Mars is going forward in Pisces. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Mars enters Pisces on the in your tenth house of career, so this is really good for your career and your reputation. Just be careful in regards to your reputation, and be careful in regards to your employers. You know, it's maybe maybe um, one they were trying to to manipulate 
manipulate you or use you somehow in one way or another. And um, <laughs> that happened to me this week, you know, like one of my bosses wanting me to do their their nephew's homework. <laughs> and I just gave them lots of links to the, you know, I'm, because the last time I did that, I didn't get paid for it. And I thought, that's not right, you know. I, and I did the work within an hour like that, and then I didn't get paid for my work. So they try to do it again, and this time I knew better. And I just gave them lots of links and said, this will make your nephew's um, essay much easier to write. And I didn't write her nephew's essay for him. <laughs> so be careful because you're going to, you know, be feeling this. <coughs> going in the one thing the one thing you know because Chi the Chiron is there because I said because I did this I don't see my boss until Friday so there could be like some kind of a because I didn't do the work but can't let someone like use you that way I have 12 other bosses as well because anyway <sighs> Cancerians, Cancerians. Um, this is uh, happening in your sixth house of work, so be it could have to do with not being as organized as you wish. Okay, um, it could also be that um, you're having a talk with higher officials in regards to your organization. Or you're having to talk to people about their organization and their, maybe you're having, either you're having to, to sit down with lots of people if you are a boss and you're having to sit down with lots of people and, you know, tell them this needs to be done, that needs to be done. Or it's the other way, you're having to sit down, your boss is giving you, you know, the list of the things that you have to get better at doing, okay? Um, and this is not a good time to enter into a contract or job, okay? Because it may not last as soon as Mercury goes forward. It could just not really last. You have to wait till Mercury goes forward again to enter into any kind of new job contract. Okay, now in regards to health, because it's the health house, the sixth house, be careful with your hands. Be careful with your arms, okay, that you don't hurt them. Um, and Venus going, Venus is going direct in your fourth house. You may be uh, having some you know, there may be some difficult waves with any women members in your family, okay? Or having difficulties with any kind of creative projects within the home. Mars is entering your ninth house. Be careful not to break any laws because you could get a ticket if you are speeding. No speeding at the Especially this week, okay? Especially during the time Mars is going with, I would say, the next month. Drive safely and drive good, okay? Leo's, Leo's. Uh, Mercury is going uh, retro in your fifth house. You may be either someone from your past, someone that you dated, that you just broke up with when... Um, when Venus went retrograde, um, you may be trying to get back into their life, or they, or they may be trying to get back into your life. Okay, you may be talking to to people about the past. It could also be um, a past um, money prospect, a past um, like a speculative business proposition comes back. And, um, or a child that you haven't talked to for a long time. Some child may come back into your life that you haven't seen in a while. Okay. Um, then on the 
the 16th venus goes direct in your third house so if you are like on online dating <laughs> there's gonna be a slight bump it's like someone's gonna put you in your place and give you a hard time if you were um, like online dating and you thought they were the world and you liked them very much you know they're either it comes to an end uh, if you've been and you find out that they weren't who they said they were you know you probably learn that you know they had their profile picture was 20 years younger <laughs> you know something like that could happen um or or if you're in a relationship, there could be there could be some talks that um, are not very harmonious, but it could pass. It could pass. Hmm. But Leo hasn't been having it very easy. Hasn't in the in the love life unless you have really good sensory. Um, um, with astrology with your partner then it's just you're going through some slight bumps Mars is entering your eighth house that has to do with marriage that has to do with you know deep contracts um, someone could be like proposing to you and then running away <laughs> Like saying, someone, be careful with those um, gold diggers. You know, someone could be wanting to, to, to use you for your money, wanting to have a deep relationship because they want your money. Um, or entering into a contract. Maybe someone says, yes, yes, you have the contract, you have the contract, and... Just read the fine print. Just read the fine print. There's going to be like some pain if you get involved in, in some kind of a contract, say for instance, because Leo Leo people have the possibility of adopting, okay, adopting a kid, especially right after the North Node left um, Leo, um, and or or you take someone's kid into your home or so. And and this any kind of any kind of um, contract that you enter, it it could be it could be a very painful one. It, it could be you know that you enter a contract that it's going to bring a lot of pain somehow. The wounded healer. So Virgo, it's like very karmic if you enter into any any kind of contract, Leo. Very karmic. Um, another thing is, could, yeah, I don't know. Okay, Virgo, um, <laughs> it's like, I think I already touched it. It has to do with other people's money, Leo. Okay, Mars. Someone pulling the wool over your eyes. Like, maybe you're, if, if you're married, Make sure that your your spouse is not gambling the money away and saying that he's doing something else with the money, investing in stocks or something like that. So check that one out. Virgo people. Um, let me make sure this is not going on too long. Virgos, this is happening in your fourth house. A family in, could be having difficult communications with your family be careful with your with the car you may be entering into a car contract too um, as well um, read the fine line um, wanting to buy a home or moving or so like yeah that's very possible be careful on uh, just make sure that that there's some kind of warranty um, or that you're insured on the 16th, Venus goes direct in your second house of money, the money that you earn and feeling like you are, um, that you are, that you have self-worth. Um, so someone may be making you feel, especially if it's someone that you have deep feelings for, you may be feeling like 
they're making you feel again that you're that you're not worth it or or somehow there's or they may be feeling this way from you okay be careful in regards to your money that you're not losing it that you're not losing your purse you know be careful when you're in a train or in a bus that that you that you have your hand on your bag and that you're you know the worst scenario is getting mugged <laughs> okay so be careful on that you know don't go into any kind of dangerous territories and on the 16th um, or the day before or the day after on the 15th Pisces enters your seventh Mars enters your seventh house Ooh, contracts, contracts and um, love relationships. There's gonna be some pain in regards. You know, the another thing that 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 this could be because it's the wounded healer. It's like twin flame energy. It's that twin flame kind of energy that burns. Not everyone understands what twin flames are. That's okay. But if you know what a twin flame is, that's what it is. It's Chiron and Mars and Pisces and Neptune. It's going to burn. But Mars is wanting to enter that relationship nevertheless. You know, Mars is fiery, passionate wanting to he's a go-getter wanting to go forward even though it's going to be painful he's saying you know he 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 he's not a wimp he's not going to run away he's going to march forward into the flame and so that's that kind of energy moving forward into the flame baby <sighs> and um that is also um yeah Okay, so the one thing that that um, is interesting is Mercury is going retrograde next to Jupiter. Jupiter is sitting in your seventh house of love. Jupiter is wanting to bless your relationship, Mer and but Mercury is going retrograde. There's definitely this is definitely going to be a very interesting month for Gemini's. Okay. Libra, Libra, and um, this is happening in your third house of communication. Now, you definitely have to be careful that you don't that you don't drink and drive. Okay, no drinking and driving. Be careful. Don't be on your cell phone while you're driving. Mind the road at this time. Be very mindful how you're driving at this time, okay? There may be some communication bumps with people who are um, your younger siblings, neighbors, and Geminis themselves. Um, or online, anything that has to do with communication. If you buy any kind of technology things, keep the receipt and make sure you have a warranty. Now, Libra, Venus is going direct in your house. Definitely a love bump. Definitely a love bump. But <laughs> as time goes by, you're just going to be feeling the love even stronger. Libra, this is because there was that that love triangle. Okay, Ceres next to Venus going retrograde. And and um, and if you have your son here, there was definitely a love triangle happening here. <clears throat> so, um, what 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 else was there? There was Venus, Ceres, and there was something else. Okay, whether it's your your sun or your moon, it could be your sun, but there was another planet in here. I can't think of it. Okay, anyway. Um, Venus going direct. This is your time. You're at a crossroads to think: Do I 
Venus is the true love, the person who came back into your life from the past. It's you have to decide do you stay with the true love, with the Venus, and move forward with her, or do you go back to the Ceres? Do you go back to the person who isn't your true love, the one that you left for Venus when Venus came into you know, the one you you left because your true past love came returned into your life okay so you have to think about that maybe you just have to think about which way you're going to go you're at a crossroads <sighs> okay mars enters your your house that has to do with health and work so be careful with anyone with whom you're working with and be trying to pull the wool over your eyes um, in regards to health, okay, um, this, this, this could be like a cleansing, like for people who are very highly spiritual, this could be a very painful cleanse that you're going through on the 15th of, on the 15th of November, a very hard, and this is probably why on the, on the 15th when if you are like a like a twin flame kind of a person and you're going through you're feeling that heat of the flame and it's probably why you decide to pull back and say the twin flame is too intense for me best I go to the Sarah's person that doesn't hurt that doesn't you know because that's the purge between these two souls these two special souls that's the purge of the flames you know you, your your soul is in their body soul is in your body and then all the all the blockages come up you start to cry or the anger comes up the purge starts happening and then you say oh my gosh this just is too much and either you run again you decide to run again or you decide to stay with your true soulmate your true flame your, your twin flame or you go back to your ex who um really doesn't touch you on a soul level that they are um, easier easier you know the normal 3d kind of a person so you have to Libra folk have to decide when they get to that crossroad okay Scorpios this is <laughs> going really long this is happening in your second house of money that you earn Okay, hmm. it's also in regards to your property, also that has to do with your car, if you're buying a car, if you're buying um, a home or getting a new apartment, you know, your property, buying a new bike or something like that. Um, yeah, just make sure you have a warranty on it. Um, be, you know, this also reminds me of, like, having to lose money because you're having to travel somewhere. But Jupiter is sitting here, so never fear. You should be blessed in regards to money. Okay, so don't fear on that. Jupiter will come, but Mercury going retrograde may be... Um, here, like, if you if you may be feeling not so cherished when you're communicating with people who are like gurus and professors, and be careful on that. Maybe you're there for some reason or another. You feel like they don't appreciate me or or they don't respect me. You know, it'll pass. Every person has their own lives that they're going through. You don't know what's happening in their life. Hopefully, in regards to money, as Jupiter's here, you just might lose a few coins here or there. You might lose a little bit of cash. Just if you buy something, you know, make sure you have the warranty on that, that it may break or something like that. On the 16th 
Venus goes direct in your 12th house that has to do with spirituality. It is also the house that has to do with affairs. You know? <laughs> so, someone, either someone is wanting an affair again, maybe a, um, a, a, um, a F boy <laughs> calling again, wanting to see you again, you know? Um, or, yeah, it definitely looks that way, like one night stand kind of an energy here. It could be that if you, you could be seeing someone that you haven't seen in a while, um, someone from the past, if you, if, if you've already been talking to someone from the past lately, there could be a slight bump, but then it could be that after the slight bump, the relationship continues, okay? <sighs> On the 15th of March, um, 15th of March, Mars goes into your fifth house of dating. So definitely, uh, definitely looks like F-boy energy, you know? Like, Mars wanting to go forward saying, I know that they're this way, but oh well, I'm just going to go along with it. That's what it looks like. It looks like that kind of energy, like this can, this is just an affair that's only going to last for a while. I, I just need the comfort of someone's arms, even if it is for, for a small time. That's what, what it looks like, you know? Um... Don't get into any kind of speculative business contracts. Don't do it. Okay? Someone's going to be trying to steal your money. All of, you know, get rich schemes. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Mercury is going retrograde in your house. <laughs> hmm. This is going to make, like, Thinking straight, a little difficult. You may, <laughs> you, you may like really overlook certain details in regards to contracts, communication, oh, okay. There may be like, um, seeing a guru or professors or higher officials that you haven't seen in a while. Be careful in regards to to traveling, that you don't get a ticket, no drinking and driving. If you are, if your car is unregistered, you can be getting in trouble right now. Um, yeah. So, be careful on that. It's like you could be entering some kind of a contract. Make sure that you read the fine print. Um, <clears throat> then on the 16th, Venus goes direct in your 11th house of friends. You may be seeing a friend you haven't seen in a long time. Or there, if you, there could be some kind of a slight bump with friends somehow. <laughs> My, my whole chart is Sagittarius, 11th house. I have to cancel seeing one friend that I already said seeing her, but then I got invited to a prom my, here in Austria. You can, you know, the whole family and friends can go to a person's prom, and that it's very different over here. And I was invited, and this is very important to me that I go, so I have to cancel out on my other front. She's not going to be happy with me. So, yeah, slight bump. Slight bump with friends. Um, and also in regards to money, be careful in regards to money here. Okay. Uh, then on the 15th, Mars goes direct. I mean, goes, I keep saying that. Goes into your fourth house of home. There's something in regards to your family or oh, 
with some difficulties in regards to your family or emotions. If you're purging emotions, trying to heal from emotions. <sighs> Time to get that ayahuasca out or that reishi, reishi mushrooms. <laughs> this is not going to be easy when Mars is, you know, for Sagittarius, it's like, it's time to purge and to raise our vibrations. That it's going to hurt a little bit with Mars there. Feeling a little bit like emotionally. Uh, Mars don't like the emotion. He don't like to be in the fourth house. And then on top of that, the wounded Chiron and Neptune are <laughs> doing their thing. <laughs> okay. It's time. <laughs> if it has to be, it has to be. It's like stretching us spiritually, definitely, within the emotion thing. Time to purge those blockages. Capricorn. Mercury is going retrograde in your 12th house. Past talks. Past talks with young people, someone young. Mm. A past contract coming okay um, it could be definitely like a past young young lover as well um, or or a teacher or so from another country that you're you are you know coming in contact with again contracts don't get, don't sign a contract from a, from a place from another, you know, like foreign contracts or so. Hmm. Okay, so read the fine print. Oh my gosh. And I'm supposed to be buying a car. <laughs> but you know what? Jupiter's sitting there protecting you. Ooh, that's good. So it's like a, a like a tug of war, and that I definitely saw that, you know, I had to go back and say, you know, can I get a coupon because my car is far much worth than what you said, and and I showed him like these documents, paperwork because I had it checked out. So I did my homework. You got to do your homework too, okay? Because that's the way things go. With Mercury going retrograde. Venus goes direct in your 10th house. That has to do with your career. You may be feeling like a slight bump with with women figures. Women in your career house. It could be like... Um, hmm. Yeah, the, the harmony is really not there. It's not a good time to... to to go on stage and have all eyes on you, you know, it's like Venus, <laughs> Venus going direct, like having to make a speech, going up those stairs onto the platform and accidentally, you know, tripping on your way up, that kind of a thing, you know, <laughs> dancing on stage and accidentally falling on your nose, you know, that kind of a thing, so it's not a good time if you... <laughs> If, you, if you're like a rock star and you throw yourself into the people and you fly into the people and they, you know, move out of the way and you fall on the floor instead, it could be something like that. No problem. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, Mars, Mars going in, is going into your third house of communication. Yeah, like um, communicating siblings, your younger siblings pulling the wool over your eyes. There may be like having to deal with some past hurtful issues with your siblings, having having to talk things out, okay, with your younger siblings or your with your neighbors. Having to talk these out, especially neighbors that you had affairs with, you Capricorns. <laughs> if you had an affair with any neighbors, you know, it's like these things are coming, all coming up again to, to, to deal with. Aquarians. 
Um, another thing is if you're trying to buy any kind of technology or anything like a computer or whatever, be careful of the salesman trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Make sure you have a warranty and your receipt that you can take it back. Aquarius, six, the, this is Mercury going retrograde is happening in your friendship house. Be careful how you're talking with your friends. If you're going to lend any money out to them, think of it as giving it to them because you may never see the money again. So just know that. Um, yeah. Don't allow your friends to talk into any kind of pyramid um, money making schemes. Uh, you'll be regretting it afterwards. Venus going direct on the 16th in your ninth house. You may have some kind of a bump with women um, who are going with you to a course, at a course or university or church or any kind of um, philosophical or higher educational place. Um, even teachers, professors who are women, or if you have any kind of creative project that you have to do for any kind of a course, university, you know, it may, there may be like some setbacks. <clears throat> Mars is then going forward, I mean, is entering your second house that has to do with money. <sighs> the woman that you learn. Be careful in regards to your money. Don't lose your purse. Uh, make sure your your home is always locked. Your windows are always locked. Okay. Be careful not to just don't allow strangers to come to your home. Whoever you allow in your home, make sure that you trust them. Okay, with your property. This could be that kind where you lend someone your car and they accidentally wreck it. Don't lend your car out during this time. If your friends come over, you know, just beware. They might accidentally break your favorite vase. Pisces. This Mercury going retrograde in the 10th house that has to do with your career, your reputation, and... You know how you're getting along with with your bosses. They, Jupiter is there blessing you. Yes, there may be a, some kind of a communication with professors or teachers or pr principals, or um, there may be some talks here. Um, but it could be like past contracts coming up. Um, Nevertheless, be careful with how you are talking with your with your superiors. On the 16th, Venus is going direct in your 8th house of other people's money. Okay? And um, a slight bump in regards to other people's money or other money resources like alimony and government payouts, some kind of a slight delay. Um... Then afterwards, things start to flow well. Um, if you are married, there may be like someone is sleeping on the couch that night. <laughs> you know, or there could be like arguments with the in-laws or something of that sort. But <laughs> definitely see that picture. Someone is sleeping on the couch. Okay, if you're married. 15th of... Uh, November Mars flies into your house. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. This is definitely a time to purge those those blockages, to purge you know things that are holding back your your. It's time to grow spiritually. It's gonna hurt a little bit gonna hurt a little bit but it's it's definitely looks like there's um, going to be a lot of spiritual growth in hand okay a lot of spiritual growth this 
after Mars enters. Okay, a little painful, but you'll survive. Yes, that was the long no weekly reading. Oh my gosh. I'm very sleepy now. It was a long day. Hugs and kisses. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.